How many of you own a Raspberry Pi? I know I do, I got quite a few. They're great little computers and they're perfect for ham radio because they're very small and use very little bit of power. Well, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna make a Raspberry Pi be even more portable in terms of power. I picked up this thing right here called Pi Power from Amazon, it's about 30 bucks. And it's advertised as a UPS backup power for a Raspberry Pi, but it also just is a battery to power your Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna put this thing together. Let's uh, hop over on the bench and we will put this thing together with my Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, see how this works, so check it out. All right, here's the Raspberry Pi 4. Here is the P-Power, Pi Power, however you wanna say that. So let's see what we got here. Some destructions, sure we'll probably need these. So here's the battery, I think it's just a couple 18650s, but it's got, uh, apparently it's got all the balancing stuff in there. Nice thing, this comes with uh, a USB-C and a micro USB-C, uh, a micro USB. So, like for the Pi 4, it's got a USB-C, but all the previous Pis have a micro, so you can use this with either one. Whole bunch of little bits and bobs to lose. And uh, a plastic something or other, and some adhesive. That is the Pi Power itself dump these guys out. Simple enough, attach the adhesive tape to the back, probably right there. Good enough. Then stick the battery on and plug it in. Well, they show the wires down in the destructions. So we will also conform to the wires down-ness of that, you see. Bind the wires with the cable tie. So I guess we're supposed to wrap those guys there with the cable tie. Conveniently located. Okay. All right, that's not so bad. And then let's tidy that up, all right. So far, so good. Then we need some standoffs. Oh look, they labeled things. So we need the M25 by 11 standoffs and the M25 by 20 standoffs. M25 by 20s, let's put these guys on. Oh, they probably screw into each other, I reckon. So let's get four of these guys. And then which ones did they say? M25 by 11s, them. All right. Four of those, and then I reckon these just screw into one another. Yep, all right. Brilliant. That's gonna be tight. Yeah, it worked. All right. I'll buy that for a dollar. Und then, we add our Raspberry Pi here. These are your screws. And look, they even included a screwdriver. How nice of them. Starting to look like something. And then we take this and turn it upside down and we use this acrylic plate for the bottom. Let's see how long it takes me to get this off. Why do they gotta do this? Like there is literally no way I'm getting this off. Throw a little alcohol on there, maybe loosen it up. I don't know. Maybe it's never coming off. There we are. There we are. There we go. Oh yes. 
And now it's nice and sterile. Sun Founder, Pea Power. And then, so that goes there. And then we take the M2.5 by 10 standoffs and screw these guys in. Would have been nice if they'd have given us like one more standoff to, uh, and, a, and a, you know, a plastic thing to put over here, but that's it. That's pretty neat. Now, we're not done yet. But wait, there's more. Now we need to plug in the USB-C cable to power the Raspberry Pi. And then the Pi power needs to be activated with the USB-C cable at the charge port the first time you use it or replug the battery. So, we take this, plug it in backwards first. Holy crap, I didn't. And that goes there. And theoretically, once we plug this in, all right, it's working. Now if we lose power, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's working. How freaking cool is that? And then once that boots up, you can then grab a tablet or a laptop or anything with VNC and then VNC into this thing. And there we go, look at that. I'm controlling this Raspberry Pi with my, my little tablet here. All battery powered. How freaking awesome is that? That is too cool. And look at that. It'll even let you watch KMRD radio stuff uh, <laughs> on a tablet through a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> That's awesome. Very, very cool. So now I actually just need to install build -Apire. I actually might, uh, if I ever get an All-Star link, uh, this would be a great thing to take portable and use uh, with All-Star because it's just battery powered. But you can also plug your USB into here, your USB-C, and it'll power everything and keep this charged and all that stuff. So this is a neat little bit of kit. I really like that. So how cool is that, huh? How many freaking different ways can you think to use this, okay? Your power goes out. Well, you still have internet. Maybe you hook this up to your hotspot. Maybe you use this for portable ham radio operations with your logger, throw hammers on it. I'm gonna put, uh, cause this Raspberry Pi was just sitting around, I'm gonna put Jason KM4ACK's build a Pi on this and uh, have it as just a computer with all kinds of ham radio stuff. Maybe I might throw it in my G90 Go box, I'm not sure. Uh, but I've got a tablet that I can use with this. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to, to, to kind of start playing with a Raspberry Pi again. It's been quite a few years since I've really done anything with one. So this might just be the ticket. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73 guys. Power.